it's everybody's coming back. Yes, uh, but the unbelieving dead, right? Uh, they will be cast into the lake of fire. So yeah, but when you're dead, are you not actually dead? And that's kind of it, really. No. Um, there is a place where the soul or the spirit goes, all right, to the believers go to be with Christ until the resurrection, and the rest um, go to a place of torment, which is not the lake of fire as such, but it's a kind of remand, remand center awaiting is the it, great white throne judgment. Is this not the purgatory that, that uh, the, the Holy Roman Church talks about? No, purgatory as a place does not exist. It's a fallacy. All right. You see, the blood of Jesus Christ for a believer, I have to say this for believers, the blood of Jesus Christ cleanseth from all sin. Yeah. Now, if you don't believe that, if you don't believe the word of the living God... Wash right, me in the blood of the Lamb, and I shall be whiter than snow. Yes, sir. and if you don't believe that and, and take that to heart and act on it, and th then you come up with ideas like purgatory because you say, you know, the blood of Jesus Christ is not efficient. It's not effective enough to deal with my sins. My sins are too bad. So therefore, there's purgatory where I'll be cleansed of that. Well, that's just not true. That's an insult to God. Well, why, why does nobody speak to the Holy Roman Church about this and say, could you remove purgatory from your agenda, please? Uh, the Roman Catholic Church has been... Um, confronted with these things through the ages and particularly at the Reformation and their response has been in general very very harsh um, right so it's, it's, but there are there have been some so what, right? what, what you're saying is that th that the Holy Roman Church will not take a telling they won't there have been some priests I mean one one of the very interesting priests to read about is Charles Chinnicky mm -hmm. who he through reading the scriptures was converted and he taught his church what he knew, what was revealed to him through the scriptures. So, so are you saying that you feel that the priest is not actually a man of God? The Roman Catholic priest? Mm. No. He's deceived and he's deceiving. It's the blind leaving the blind. Right. Now Charles Chinnicky, he believed he should stay within the Roman Catholic system. But they actually threw him out. And they, they actually went far enough to burn down the church because the, the whole congregation actually moved with Charles Chinnicky. Wow. And Charles Chinnicky actually won a court case against the Roman Catholics. Now, his lawyer was Abraham Lincoln. Who, of course, was assassinated. Yes, and yeah. one of the reasons that Abraham Lincoln was assassinated was that he, ag he angered the Roman Catholic Church by winning that court case. Right. And there's actually congression, a congressional record which um, points to the fact that Roman Catholics in the South were celebrating the assassination of Abraham Lincoln while he was still alive. They knew it was coming. What about the, the assassination? Was, was Abraham Lincoln a Catholic? No. What about the assassination of, uh, of John F. Kennedy, who was Catholic? Well, there, there was a common factor between the two, um, and it, it wasn't their religion, but the, the common factor was that they, both of them, defied these people who are going about running the world, and they defied them by printing their own money. There was the Lincoln Greenback, and under JFK, there was the silver dollar, the dollar based on silver. So what's the profession of these people that are running the world then? Are they politicians? Are they financiers? Or are they just uh, greedy men? Um, they, they are very powerful, greedy men. They're, they're out to, to run the world, to own the world. Um, it's not money is, which is, drives is, is, them, is, but power. Is this not, come with me, saith the devil, and I will show you all the kingdoms of the world? Yes. Yes, they have, they have taken this up. What Christ refused, they have taken up. So, and, and you think that we are heading for, uh, for some uh, serious financial meltdown? Yes, I think it's very close. When you say close, do you mean years? No, I mean months or weeks. Really? 
So the, the thing to do, right, the first thing really to do is to get right with God spiritually, to turn to God. So do you think if we all turn to God, then this might not happen? If we were to turn to God, um, he would, he would um, how can I say, he would be the saviour. So we all said our prayers tonight. If we all repented, if, if we all um, basically acted on that repentance, then yes. Uh -huh. Paul, I'm going to have to dash, but... I'll just, just give, can God, give just yes, a couple of other points. Yeah, the other point right. is, get out of debt. Get out of debt. That is going to be vital. Uh, anything that you have, if, if you possibly can do it, get out of it. Pay off the credit cards, whatever. Um, what, what, what difference does that actually make? The difference is that if you are in debt to anybody, they have power over you, and they can take what you have if you cannot afford to pay off that debt. Right. What if people don't have very much and they don't have any money? Well, <laughs> this, is, this is the problem, and it's going to be worse because food is going to become an issue as well. Right, right. So, and the mark of the beast is around the corner, so that's the next thing. We live in interesting times. Paul, I look forward yes. to talking to you again soon, sir. Right, okay. Thank you very much. Right, bye, bye. bye now, there we are, that's uh, Paul from here, uh, telling it like it is, is he uh, talking any sense, does anything ring a bell, or is he talking absolute nonsense, complete and utter bunkum, you tell me, 01698 337107, because everybody's got an opinion, and this is the place to hear it, this is the place to hear it. Box and Wireless Scotland. The very best of your box and wireless.